Quebec. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy calf, no bigger than a kitten, with big black eyes and a soft nose. He had a bell around his neck that rang ting-a-ling, ting-a-ling. He belonged to the fairies, but sometimes he ran in the fields with the farm calves, although he was so tiny. His name was Kebeg. One day, a farmer saw little Kebeg wandering in the meadows, and he picked him up and put him in his bag. I'll take him home for my little girl to play with, he said to himself. When he got home and took Kebeg out of his bag, his little girl Jenny was very pleased. She fed him with milk and kept him in an old rabbit hutch. Every day she took him for a walk with a ribbon round his neck. Don't he let go of the ribbon, said her mother. Kebeg is a fairy calf. And if you let go, he'll run back to the fairies. I don't think he'd ever run away from me, said Jenny, because I love him so much. One day, Jenny and Kebeg were out walking together. The little calf frisked and pranced, but Jenny kept tight hold of the end of the ribbon. Suddenly, a little fairy man appeared all dressed in green, with a pointed red hat. Would you like to come with me and see a fairy house? Asked the little fellow. Yes, I would, said Jenny. Has it got a little chimney? Yes, it has, with smoke coming out of it too. So they went off together, Jenny leading Kebeg by his ribbon. At last they came to a gorse bush. Under the gorse bush, there was a dear little fairy house, no bigger than a large turnip, with a thatched roof and smoke coming out of the chimney. Come inside, said the little fellow. But I'm too big, said Jenny, and the house is too small. Then, as she watched, the house grew and grew until she could get through the door. She was so excited that she let go of the ribbon and Quebec was left outside. When evening came and Jenny had not come home, her father and mother went out to look for her. They thought they heard the faint sound of Quebec's bell, and they followed the sound further and further till they came to the gorse bush where Jenny had gone with the little fellow. There lay Jenny, fast asleep, and beside her was a burnt-out turnip lantern. It was all that was left of the little fairy house. Jenny's father carried her home still fast asleep, and she didn't wake up until the next morning. Where is the fairy house? she asked when she woke up. And where is my dear Cabeg? She called his name day after day and looked for him everywhere though he was never seen again. But Jenny never forgot Quebec, for she loved him dearly and knew that the fairies were keeping him safe.